بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو رحمان ڈیجیٹل پروڈکشن دس از لیکچر نمبر تھرٹی سیون آف میتھمیٹکس فورٹی ٹوینٹی فور ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر وی کنکلوڈیڈ دی کنسیپٹ آف ایکویشن ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ the inequalities ladies and gentlemen if an expression is written in this form for example this is written as 50 if there is an equal symbol it means that this is equation because left side is equal to right side but if we are writing x is greater than y or x is less than y or x is greater than or equal to y x is less than r equal to y then these sort of equations are called inequalities uh, these sort of equations will give you one value of x and one value of y but in this case x will have many values greater than y for example i am saying that x is greater than 10 so it means that it x is having the value of 11 12 13 14 15 but if we are saying x is equal to 10 then only one value which is 10 is possible keep these things in mind one thing more before going into solve these questions and that is when x is greater than y this is very important please pay attention and if we are multiplying any number on this side and any number on this side the inequalities will remain intact it will not change for example if we are saying that x is greater than y then 5x will also be greater than 5y if we are multiplying a positive number on both sides of an inequality then we will have the same sign here and here as well similarly if we are saying that x is less than y and again we are multiplying a positive number 6 x will be less than 6y again it will not change the equality inequality sign will remain intact similarly if we are saying that x is greater than y then what about if we are dividing both sides on 10 again the inequality sign will not change if you are multiplying are dividing both sides by a positive number then it means that the inequality sign will remain intact similarly if it is x is less than y then x divided by 2 y divided by 2 will also yield the same sign in this simple in a linear inequalities we will keep ourselves uh, only to the positive numbers 
in book number 3 we will deal with the negative numbers as well but here we are only clearing our concept that what actually inequalities are and what they are giving us if we are multiplying or dividing the same numbers on both sides of an inequality. So, let us clear our concept. The first question which is given on 129 and they are saying fill in each box with less than, greater than, less than or equal or greater than or equal symbol. Remember that if x is greater than y, then 5x will greater than 5y. You have to keep this in mind. Similarly, if x is less than, so this sign will not change according to those rules. If x is greater than or equal to, then it will also be greater than or equal to. If x is less than or equal to, so here we will also put less than or equal to symbol. Now, E, F and F questions are an exception. There is a need of mind you have to utilize in these E and F part. These two parts are saying that if 15 is greater than 5 and if this 5 is then greater than x, so 15 will also be greater than x. 15 is greater than 5 and 5 is greater than, for example, it is 4x. 5 is greater than 4, so it means 15 is also greater than for that is why I am saying that you have to utilize your mind. There is no strict and hard rule for it. If x is less than 50 and 50 is less than y, y may be any value. For example, 100. 50 is less than 100. Yes, it is true. And x is less than 50 then x will also be less than 100 as well. So, you have to keep these rules in mind. Now, let us turn our focus to question number 2. Solve each of the following inequalities and illustrate the solution on a number line. The first part is saying that we are uh, doing what we are solving the inequalities now. A part is saying 3x is less than or equal to 18. Ladies and gentlemen, do not confuse yourselves. You, when you are seeing these symbols of inequalities then you, people are thinking that how we will solve it. I am telling you that for a moment consider that as equal. How you will solve it? It is like this. Don't confuse yourself that less than or equal is something else. That is that equal symbol but when equal is there, this is called equation, but is uh, not equal is there, without equal there are other things, then it means that they are what? They are inequalities. So, we are solving it, dividing both sides of inequalities by 3. So, 3x is less than 18. We are dividing by a positive number. So, this will not be changed. If it was negative number, then uh, the sign would change. But here, 
because we are dividing it by a positive number in this case. So, the inequality sign will remain intact. This 3 will be cancelled with this and this uh, 3 ones are 3. So, it means that x is less than or equal to 6. Now, we have to illustrate it by a line. Here, one thing I will tell you what to do. This is 3, this is 4, this is 5 and this is 6. Here, it is minus 1, it is minus 2, it is minus 3 and it is minus 4. When there is an equal symbol, x is having values which is less than 6. So, it means that we have to draw a circle, but filled circle. Filled circle means that 6 is included. If it is an empty circle, then it means that 6 is not included. And then we have to draw an arrow and they are having infinite numbers on the left side. So, these are all the numbers which can be given to x. 6, not 7, because it is equal to 6 or less than 6. So, this is playing a very important and vital role that the circle is filled or not. In this case, it is filled. I will tell you that in which case it will not be filled. 4x is greater than 4x is greater than or equal to 62. Again, you have to keep in mind this inequality is equal symbol and solid. So, dividing uh, both sides by 4 to remove this 4. So, 4 will be cancelled and because it is positive number, we are dividing it by positive number. So, it means that the inequality sign will not be changed. This is 2, 2's are 4, 2, 3's are n. When we divide 31 by 2, so 2 15's are 30 and 1. So, it means that 15 whole 1 over 2 x is greater than or equal to 15 whole 1 over 2 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 and 16 so, we are first specifying 15 whole. So, this will be 15, the middle of 14 and 16 and this will be 15 and a half. So, we will write 15 and a half is this and because there is greater than or equal symbol is there. So, we have to put these values. It is greater than or equal to. Ladies and gentlemen, in this case, we have to put, I was thinking that this is less than, oh, that was correct. That was correct. And that is greater than. So, it means that we have to go on that side. Whatever value is there, they are all can be given to this x. 
so it will be a filled circle because equal if there was not an equal symbol it was only greater than symbol then we could write that as what as an empty circle okay let us clear more concept about this and c part they are saying 3x is less than 3x is less than minus 36 yes uh, it is 3 y is less than 3 y is less than so dividing both sides by 3 positive 3 so we will not be able to change the inequality sign uh, ladies and gentlemen minus 36 when divided by 3 3 ones are and 3 2 so it means that in this case we are if writing the value this is 0 this is 2 this is 4 this is 6 this is 8 minus minus and then minus 10 then minus 12 and then minus 14 and minus 16 and so on so first we have to specify minus 12 which is this position but because there is no equal symbol is here so it means that this is not included and less than means that it will go on which side now you have to utilize your mind whether minus 12 is less than minus 14 yes minus 12 is less than minus 14 minus 14 uh, sorry minus 12 is greater than minus 14 so to whichever side this crocodile mouth is that side is greater so why are having values that are less than minus 12 minus 10 is greater than minus 12 so we have to go on this direction yes all the values which are there they are inside this direction okay next question is d number part and they are saying that 5x is greater than sorry 5y is greater than minus 24 first of all we have to solve it and then represent it by numbered line so we have to remove after all this 5 so dividing both side by 5 will give you 24 minus 24 over 5 so 24 when divided by 5 so 5 fours are 20 and we will get this so it means y are having values which are greater than 4 whole 4 over 5 minus 4 whole 4 over 5 this is 0 and this is uh, let us put this 0 in the middle so here is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and minus 5. First of all, 
we have to find that where is minus 4 whole 4 over 5 minus 4 whole 4 over 5 this is minus 4 when we divide 4 by 5 so we have to 0.8 so it will be somewhere here nearer to minus uh, 5 and here we have to put an empty circle and all the values on the right side can be given to the y here we are doing question number e 4x is less than 28 4x is less than 28 so dividing both side by 4 will give you x is less than 7 now it is the turn of line number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And because there is no equal symbol is there, so we have to put an empty circle and less than means that we will go in this direction. Similarly, we are going to do part number F and part number F is saying that 12x is greater than 12x is greater than or equal to 20 uh, 126 12x is greater than r equal to 126 dividing both sides by 1 uh, divide by 12 so it will give you 10 whole 1 over 2 12 whole 1 over 2 and then it is the turn of what? It is the turn of representation. 1, let us do it 2 to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And because there is no negative value involvement in this inequality, so we are not drawing it. Okay, it is greater than 10 and a half, which will be here. And because there is equal symbol, so it means that there will be a felt circle. And greater than means that these will have all these values on the right side which is not 1. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to uh, solve other question as well. So, let us solve the next question and that is 2y is less than or equal to 2y is less than or equal to minus 5. So, y is less than or equal to minus 5 divided by 2. So, it will give you minus 2 whole 1 over 2. Now, we have to represent it by because negative values are involved. So, 0 minus 1, 
माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर माइनस फाइव एंड वी कैन राइट द पॉजिटिव वन नंबर इज देयर इज नो नीड ऑफ दैट बिकॉज वाई इज लेस देन y is less than so less than will be on left side and greater than will be on right first we have to specify this value and that is something in the middle here now second thing we have to specify that it will be fill circle or empty circle because there is equal involved less than or equal so it will be fill circle and less than means left side so it will go on the left side here we have to write the h value and that is the h question is saying that y 9 y is 9 y is greater than a uh, minus 20 now comparatively this these sort of question should be easy for you people first of all we have to get rid of this 9 so dividing both sides by 9 uh this means that minus 2 whole 2 over 9 is the value which we have to find and because it is greater than so it means that we will put the arrow head on the right side first we have to find that this is zero this is minus 1 this is minus 2 and this is minus 3 and similarly this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 and so on so first of all we have to specify 2 over 9 so it means that it will be somewhere nearer to this minus 2 and you have to put empty circle no equal symbol is involved and because it is greater than so it will go to the right side but keep in mind that if on the left side it is a positive value so this is arrow head but you have to put like this one symbol if it is like this then you have to put like this symbol keep these things in mind okay now we are going towards a word problem like question that is the practical usage of this a van can ferry a maximum of 12 people so it means 12 x by so 12 x means that maximum means that it will be greater than or equal not more than 12 so 12 is included you have to keep by using up an inequality find the maximum number of vans that can be needed to ferry 80 people so on this side we have to put it 80 now like these we have to solve it and a number line we well uh, uh, it is asking when a uh, no number line is involved so it means easy now we have to get rid of this 12 so dividing both sides by 12 this 12 will be cancelled with this and greater than or equal to symbol when we uh to 6 to 40 to 3 to 20 so when 20 is divided by 
सो इट मीन सिक्स होल टू ओवर थ्री एंड नॉट इक्वल इज ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल सो इट मीन्स greater than are equal to 6 means 7 veins are required the minimum number of veins the minimum number of veins that can ferry eighty people are uh, seven there are seven because six is not enough because two or three will also be needed so it means that seven in the seventh one there will be empty spaces but at least uh, 70 uh, 80 people can be ferried only in the seven ladies and gentlemen that's it for today tomorrow we will do the intermediate and one advanced level question and keep in mind that we will start tomorrow inshallah another exercise uh, another chapter as well this will conclude this chapter and that will be about the uh, graphs and the function cartesian coordinates so keep in touch thank you for watching allah hafiz